This is the Chase Freedom Flex then, and this is what I'm doing with this credit card for this quarter. Stick around to find out which credit card will replace my Freedom Flex for the next three months, and here's a little hint. Yes, I know that this is an Apple Watch, but believe me, this is a legitimate hint. Now let's start off with the credit card that gave me a lot of drama, heartache, and totally destroyed my ego because Amex put me through the ringer to get this credit card. I was put into pending review, then denied, then I called the reconsideration line and did exactly what they told me to do and I was denied again. So I waited 30 days, then applied, and was put into pending review yet again, and then I was finally approved for a baby credit limit. If you haven't seen that story, check the description section down below for a link to those videos and enjoy my misery. Now since I created two videos already on this credit card I decided to skip the unboxing slash unenveloping video because I knew that it would be featured in this video update so here's a look at that credit card I know I have a lot of it taped up because there is just so much information in the front on this credit card it's the most cluttered look of a credit card I've ever seen but whatever it is what it is the reason why I got this credit card was because of the elevated welcome offer of 150,000 Hilton Honors points and one free night award after spending $4,000 within the first three months of card membership which is an insanely good offer in today's world this credit card does have good reward earning categories such as 12x points for purchases made directly with hotels and resorts in the Hilton in portfolio, 6x points at gas stations, shipping providers, and wireless phone services, 6x points at US restaurants, flights, and car rentals, and 3x points on all other purchases. Now, since I got this credit card, the first thing I did was to book a hotel room with Hilton, of course, and to my surprise, I am getting a $25 credit per day for food and drinks purchased directly at the Hilton property. Now, I knew about the food and beverage credit before applying for the credit card, but I didn't know that it would actually have an actual dollar value and I feel like I should have known that before I apply for the credit card but I honestly didn't look very closely into the Hilton Honors program to research the benefits with gold status. The only thing I really cared about was being able to get space available room upgrades especially after Hyatt gave me this laughable ocean view from the room I redeemed with my points last year. So now that I know a little bit more about having status and the value that it can have maybe I won't be in that particular situation again but of course it depends on the space available room upgrades. Upgrades. This particular credit card does come with a $95 annual fee, but as long as you're someone who will stay at Hilton Properties and purchase food and drinks at the Hilton Properties, you can recoup that fee pretty easily. Plus, I think that the fee alone is worth it since this card comes with Priority Pass Select, which gives you 10 complimentary visits to Priority Pass lounges. And you know what? Since I don't travel a whole lot, this credit card just made it a little bit harder for me to justify getting the Amex Platinum card. And I hate to admit it, but this Hilton Honors credit card ended up being the perfect hotel credit card for me and I didn't even have it on my list of credit cards to get this year. So far I am decently pleased even though I had a rocky start and keep in mind I've only held this credit card for a few days at this point so that is subject to change. Moving on to credit card number two. You all knew that this is the best credit card that was coming and I guess it's a charge card but you knew that the best of the best of the best 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 version of the MS Gold card was going to make a debut in today's video and that's none other than the Amex Rose Gold. So Team Rose Gold, can I hear you make some noise? <laughs> that's right Team Rose Gold. And well I guess if I'm going to be fair, Team Classic Gold, can I hear you make some noise? Oh uh, yeah that was a little bit weak. So I am telling you Team Rose Gold is the best and if you don't believe me just listen to what my friend Stan the Credit Frog had to say about the Rose Gold card. Rose Gold is the absolute best. CJ you are right. I know he's like dying in stir. <laughs> <laughs> we can't allow that. You know what Stan? I always knew you'd come around to the right side. And poor Anthony, I know you're in Team Classic Gold. You'll be okay. But to the rest of you, we have some room left on Team Rose Gold. This is an exclusive offer. So get rid of that Classic Gold card and come on over and join Team Rose Gold. 
Joking aside, the MS Gold card is the workhorse in my wallet and I've held this charge card for almost one year now and it has not left my wallet since the moment I received it in the mail as I'm able to get 4x points at restaurants, 4x points at grocery stores and 3x points on flights and of course it comes with a base earning of 1 point per dollar spent on all eligible purchases. But we don't really talk about that one too much. Now do understand that there is a cap of $25,000 in spend on the grocery rewards category but I definitely do not spend anywhere near that amount in grocery purchases so I'm not worried about that one in particular. Now as beautiful as the reward categories sound I have to mention that this is the most expensive credit card in my wallet because it comes with a $250 annual fee. Yes that is quite a bit of money just to hold a credit card but it could potentially be worth it if you're able to take advantage of the $120 dining credit and a $120 Uber cash credit. There's also now a $100 experience credit when you book at least a two night stay with the hotel collection through Amex Travel, which means that you have the opportunity to get a value of $340 in credits, which on the surface level, this card can potentially put more money in your pocket depending on how you value those credits. I will be covering my one year experience with the Amex Gold card probably within the next few months, so stay tuned for that video by making sure that you are subscribed to the channel. So I dumped the Chase Freedom Flex threw it to the side like a piece of trash and I know some of you out there may be offended by that move and I am sorry. Not really. And that's because this next credit card will get the most usage in my wallet this quarter and actually made the Chase Freedom Flex completely irrelevant over the next three months even though gas station purchases is one of the 5% rotating reward categories. And that's because the Discover It cashback credit card has embraced what I'm calling the superpower category that I think Chase needs to take note of and get on this bandwagon with their Freedom Flex credit card. And that category is none other than the digital wallet category. This this category is so powerful because this can be your 5% cashback grocery store credit card, restaurant credit card, Target credit card, retail store credit card. You get the gist. Basically anywhere that Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Garmin Pay, and Google Pay is accepted will net you 5% cashback on those purchases when you use the Discover a Cashback card in your digital wallet. So yes, I am holding the physical credit card, but in all honesty, it will be used on my devices. In addition, there is the gas station category as well. Just like the Freedom Flex. However, since I fill my gas tank once per month, this category is not important to me. Absolutely love it when the digital wallet category comes around because of its flexibility. Last year, this was done during quarter four, which I thought made more sense because there would be a lot of people shopping for the Christmas presents. However, I'm not going to complain that Discover decided to move this category around since this category is awesome and flexible. And this is a keeper credit card because it does not have an annual fee. Credit card number four is possibly the smartest credit card in my wallet right now and it is issued by one of our favorite banks wells fargo but you know what a wells fargo gets a lot of heat because of all of the shady stuff that they've done that has been made public but let's just be real for a second wells fargo is not alone in some of the shady stuff that they've done just this week well i guess last week by the time you see this video cnbc broke news about bank of america being fined for doing shady business as well so although there is no excuse for this behavior just note that wells fargo is not alone anyway the built rewards mastercard is the perfect credit card solution that renters have needed to earn rewards on paying rent without encountering that pesky transaction fee. This is a no annual fee credit card that allows me to earn points on my biggest expense every month and is a travel card with pretty good transfer partners including American Airlines and the world of Hyatt. For me personally, the built MasterCard fits well into my Chase ecosystem because I prefer to use my Chase points for world of Hyatt hotel room redemptions and now my ridiculously high monthly rent payment can actually help me to save towards a portion of a vacation or use it for a small trip. And of course, there are double points that can be earned on the first day of the month excluding your rent payments and now the community is figuring out a way to essentially game the system and of course I am not going to mention that in this video because I think that this is risky behavior as you all know credit card issuers reserve the right to claw back your points and to shut down your credit cards so as genius as I think it is that someone has figured this out I will gladly watch this method from the sidelines because I'm not much of a risk taker and also if too many people begin to do this this will definitely begin to affect built's bottom line and it can potentially make for a messy situation at its worst meaning 
everyone can potentially suffer in some sort of way. I just don't want to play with fire here, but I respect those of you who choose to do so. I do have a whole lot more to say about this credit card, but I'll save that for another video. The final credit card in my wallet is another credit card from American Express that has bruised my ego, and that is none other than the Amex Blue Business Plus. This is my very first business credit card, and I'm not going to lie, I was actually nervous to apply for a business credit card, but because of other credit card creators such as Daniel Braun, I learned that I could be approved for a business credit card and didn't need to necessarily own a business. Granted, I am someone with an established LLC and I was still hesitant to apply for a business credit card. And then I saw one more video that made me hit the gas on this. And unfortunately, I don't remember that YouTuber's name, but he spoke about the fact that businesses have credit scores. And it was at that moment I knew that I needed a business credit card to start building my business credit. So here came the Amex Blue Business Plus. Now, this credit card is an excellent excellent credit card since it earns 2x points on all purchases on up to $50,000 spent per year and I love that the credit card comes with extended warranty and purchase protection and it also is a no annual fee credit card and we love no annual fee credit cards. Another highlight with this credit card is something that I unfortunately was not able to enjoy and that is it seems to be pretty common to get a $10,000 credit limit with the Blue Business Plus straight out the gate. In fact, I think all of my fellow credit card creators whom I watch have all received this credit limit to start and I was the lucky one to receive a $2,000 credit limit and I still don't think I deserve that. I honestly believe that I should have received at least a $5,000 credit limit but you know Amex made their decision. But since then I have been able to get a 3x credit limit increase. So you know what this means? This means that I don't have my Chase Freedom Unlimited, a Freedom Flex or my Sapphire Preferred in my wallet this quarter. I mean let's Let's be real, the Sapphire Preferred is never really in my wallet and the Freedom Unlimited typically acts as my catch-all credit card, but with the Discover It credit card killing the game with this digital wallet category, I have no choice but to ditch chase for this quarter. I mentioned a couple of business credit cards in today's video and if you would like to see the application process for the Amex Food Business Plus, then be sure to watch this video next. If you would like to see the process with requesting a credit limit increase from American Express, then please watch this video next. As always, thanks so much for making it to the end, so come on over and get your high five.